Hey everyone, Vincent here from XBS Productions, and today in this After Effects Quick Tip, I'm going to teach you how to create real smoke in After Effects with no third-party plugins, strictly After Effects built-in tools and plugins. And of course, I am aware of Action Essentials 2 and 1 from Video Copilot, and they have pre-rendered smoke elements and pre-keyed footage and all that stuff. And then there's also a particular 2.0 that can create smoke quite easily without the tedious work and very fast and all that stuff. And I have particular 2.0, and... I highly suggest using this over this method, but if you have no budget and you want to create legit smoke in After Effects, of course, then we can get started with this video tutorial. Of course, smoke can add a lot of depth to your scene. It creates an atmosphere, and I think in almost any cinematic motion graphics or anything like that, you can add smoke somewhere, somehow. Because smoke, I mean, you see smoke everywhere. <laughs> so let's get started. So I'm going to create a new composition. I already have a composition pre-made with a texture in the background, some color correction, and a light on top, as you see here. So, but create a composition and create a new layer. Control Y or Command Y. And then we're gonna name it Fractal Smoke. Make it comp size, black, and click OK. So now we have a black layer. We're gonna go into the effects and presets and search in fractal noise under noise and grain. Drag that into the fractal smoke layer. So now we have a fractal noise right here, basic. We're going to change the contrast to 120 to give it a little bit more pop. We're going to change the complexity to about 8 to give it a more of a dynamic, complex look for a smoke. And then we're going to um, go to the beginning of the composition at 0 seconds. Hit a stop, watch for evolution. And then move to the end of your composition and give it a value. Now, of course, my composition is 10 seconds long, so I put 4 down. But... You may have a longer composition or a shorter composition, and you want to change the evolution to whatever fits. But basically, you want to give your particles a little movement, as you see here, so it doesn't stay still, because you know it is smoke. And then, and then we're going to go back to the zero second mark, the beginning of your composition. We're going to go to the transform, change the scale to about 120 to give it a little larger smoke particle. And then we're going to hit a, a keyframe for offset turbulence. Hit the keyframe at the beginning. Move to your end again. And pretty much, again, depending on how long your composition is, you want to change these settings to whatever fits your needs or your look. But I want my particles, I want my smoke to flow on the x-axis to the right. So I'm going to change the x value to the right. So as you see, the particles are moving to the right. And then I'm going to increase the y value, or actually decrease it. So the smoke particles rise up a little bit because, you know, smoke eventually rises. So basically what we have now is... Our fractal noise with evolution, so it's moving, it's not staying the same, and it's moving to the right and slowly moving upwards. And that's what we want, because that's what smoke looks like. So now that we have that done, we're gonna go and get the ellipse tool. Now you may have the rectangle tool right here. Click and hold down this button to get the ellipse tool. And basically, we wanna draw a random ellipse around here. So I want some smoke in the bottom of this footage right here. So we're gonna keep on drawing some different size circles. Random size, thin, large, fat, anything like that. But the goal is to create some random size ellipse. And create quite a bit of them. This is more of an experimenting thing. So basically what we want to do now is actually select all of our masks. So select mask 1 and hold down shift and select mask. So we have all of our masks selected. And then we're gonna hit F on the keyboard to bring up the mask feather. And then we're gonna pump the feathering up to about 250, or actually 120. Seems good, about 120. So what we have now is actually smoke right here. But as you see, the problem is that the opacity is too thick and smoke is somewhat transparent. So you can fix that. Hit T on the, on the keyboard on the fractal smoke. Hit T. Brings up the opacity, and then we're going to hit the opacity to about 50. Now, if you're actually working with this, with an actual project, we want to change the opacity down a little lower than 50. But for this tutorial purposes, I'm afraid that you might not be able to see the, um, the smoke. So I'm leaving it at 50 so you guys can see visually what it looks like. But again, if you're actually working with this, then I think about 25 would be actually good for this smoke. But you can't really see anything in this video tutorial because on YouTube, but anyways, 50%. So what we have now is actually smoke animating, moving to the left and rising somewhat. 
And you know, it looks somewhat f um, real actually. What we need to do now is color correct it. So let's go searching curves under color correction. Drag that into the fractal smoke layer. And because our scene is blue, our scene is somewhat of a cool wet feeling. I'm gonna go to the blue channel and actually, and actually increase the blue channel somewhat to give our smoke somewhat of a blue tint. And let's take out some of the red. Now you may not be, you might not be able to see a big color correction difference in this video tutorial, but if you're working on other footages like actual live footage, video footage, then you really need to color correct your smoke because smoke is not always white or gray. And of course you can change this, you can make this into a clouds video tutorial, you can create clouds this way, you can create smoke this way. It's just basically what you learn in this video tutorial, take the technique and incorporate it into your projects and increase your creativity. So as you see here, this is what smoke looks like without color correction, plain and gray. And this is what it looks like with color correction. So it blends in the scene more and we can actually change the blending mode of the fractal to add just in case you're working with anything like that. And I'm going to move the fractal smoke under the vignette. So we have some nice smoke going on here and you can see some of it's moving. Increase that up a little bit. So yep, that's smoke. That's how you create smoke in using third uh, using no third party plugins, strictly After Effects tools. And of course, I'll create a tutorial on how to create smoke using Particular 2.0 because I actually, when I create smoke, I actually use Particular 2.0. You have more control over it. It's a lot easier and it's really quick. And you have all these settings right here, like velocity and emitter size and all that stuff. It's a lot easier that way, and it's more realistic. And of course, that's just a quick video tutorial, quick tip. Use what you learn in this video tutorial and incorporate it to your projects. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out my channel for more video tutorials like this. Check out my intros, my animations. Check that out. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time.